Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do a super fun video. I'm going to be filming my car tour. I know I posted a video about my car shopping vlog kind of experience uh, because I actually got in a car accident in December of last year. So I was kind of forced to do a new car, but it was kind of a blessing in disguise because I was able to get my dream car already at 22 years old. Um, of course, it's not brand new. My car is used and it's a little bit older of a year, but I do have a Range Rover Evoque and this is like a dream come true already. I'm so obsessed with my car and I'm so happy it worked out the way it did. Of course, it was not fun being in a car accident, but I was able to get a car that I really, really love and I'm so excited to drive and use every day. So I wanted to make this video kind of as a more in-depth tour of the car. I did show a few clips when I did get the car in my last vlog, but I did want to make a whole video dedicated to just my car and the ins and outs about it. So like I said, my car is a little bit older. It is a 2013 Range Rover Evoque and I think the Pure Plus trim. So it's like the second up. Uh, so I have the sunroof and full leather where just the regular Pure doesn't have that. I think it's like mixed of like cloth, like fabric and leather seats and there's no sunroof. So we actually looked at one that was just the Pure model and I was like devastated that there was no sunroof. So that's like one of my favorite parts of my car. So even though it is a little bit older, I do think it was a really good deal um, because it didn't have like a ton of miles at all, especially for how old it is and it doesn't look old at all. I feel like when you look at the newer models, you can barely even tell the difference. I think one of the main things that they changed is like now the handles are like flat to the car and it looks like super modern and like futuristic, but that doesn't really bother me and I don't really care what year it is. If it's a good car, it has low miles and I know it's gonna last me. So again, once we just compared and contrasted all the cars we looked at, this was definitely the best deal and super nice in my opinion. Um, I did look at a newer Audi. I know I said this in my last, um, the car shopping vlog, it was a 2018 Audi, so I thought that was going to be really nice because it was obviously newer. And when we went and saw it, just the model was not nearly as nice as my Range Rover. So I absolutely love my car. Sometimes I feel like even silly because I'm like, why do I have a Range Rover at this age for like my first car that I buy myself? Like I said, it's not brand new, obviously, but it gets the job done for me and something that I can enjoy that's a little bit nicer and kind of more like a luxury thing that um, I'm really excited to have. So I don't want to talk too much more. I'm just going to start showing you guys some clips of my car and give you a little tour of the whole thing so let's just get started so here's a full look at my car sorry the sun is kind of glaring that way so you might like not be able to see it in some parts but this is just the front i'm gonna go ahead and unlock it because the keys are gonna make noise um basically the key is just a fob like this and you have the lock unlock i guess it's like my alarm or lights i've never done that oh that must be the alarm and i think that's to can i turn on my lights oh wow I just figured out <laughs> I can turn on my lights with the key. Okay, so that's a feature. And then this is just obviously alarm. And then this actually opens up. I don't want to do it because it's kind of hard to um, snap back on, but you can slide this or sometimes I drop it and it pops open. Um, and then I think there's like an actual key in there so you can get into the car. If for some reason, this is not working. It's kind of scratched up, but this is the only key that the owner had to give. So and I think I'm the third owner. So that doesn't really bother me, but this is the key I and mean, you just go to unlock it. It does have this little portion here on the handle. I think that's somehow you can open it here or it's like underneath. Yeah, there's like an arrow. Yeah, there's a little hole underneath um, the handle where you can put the key that's in here. So I've never had to use that, thankfully. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw the key in here so it's not making noise. I'm always so scared to shut my door even if I know it's not locked. <laughs> so I'm just gonna leave it open. So yeah, this is just the front of the car. It basically has the letters in the front and then the grill is kind of like a harder, like a plastic, I guess. It is a little bit dirty, um, but we were able to clean up this, the Land Rover little symbol. Um, my fiance is really into cars and cleaning them, working on them. So he was able to do all of this stuff for me whenever we first got the car. The letters definitely had some wear and tear on them, so he refinished them and um, did like another silver coat on these. So it looks really nice. At first we had done like a darker gray color and because I almost wanted like a black on black look, but when we did the dark gray, I realized I didn't like it as much as the silver. So I just like how this pops like that. We might read you the grill at some point. Is that what it's called? I think it's called a grill. Don't come for me. I don't know any of these like terms or there's probably a lot of details I'm going to miss about the car, but I'm just giving you guys like a brief overview. So you have your headlights. Oh gosh, running lights, fog lights, not sure. But <laughs> these turn on like a separate knob or like on the same knob, but if you like turn it another way, these will come on and those are just regular headlights. So, oh, these on the, the front cameras are 
down in the corner. Wait, I think those are cameras. No, wait, I don't have a camera on the back. What is this? I think it's just the sensor because um, I have like the parking assist, which is really nice. So this is on the front. I think that's what that is. I might be totally wrong. There's another one down here. This is what the wheels look like. Again, don't know any of these specifications. They really need to be cleaned. Um, that's a John task because I actually just got my car washed right before this but I got like the most basic like five dollar car wash so it got some of the stuff off but there's definitely still some spots so sorry about that you should have this little silver piece with kind of like a grating here um and then you go to the door I'm gonna show like all angles so here's from like kind of the back side probably gonna try and blur out my license plate but this is just the back um sorry for my shadow and then kind of from this angle and here is this side. I love the way it looks from the side. I think it looks so sleek. Um, and like I said, I just love having like a smaller SUV. It's a perfect size. It's only two rows. And I think the Evoque actually comes in a coupe version. So it's just a two door, which I can't understand that. <laughs> I'm so glad I have four doors, but either way, I just love the look of it. The black, super cute. I think I said in the intro, but I have the Pure Plus trim, I believe. So it's one above. I think the first one is just pure. And that means I have like the full leather seats um, and also the sunroof, which I'm so obsessed with. It's my favorite part. I'm going to get in the car so there's not like so much of a glare. And I'm actually going to turn it on because it's really hot outside and I'm wearing a hoodie for some reason. So when you first turn it on, um, it's not like fully on because you have to hold the brake down to start the ignition. You just have everything light up here. Don't mind this warning, my washer fluid is low. That's also something John should address. But you can just hit like the OK button here and it'll cancel out. It does show you here that you're in park and if you do want to start the ignition, obviously you would put your foot on the brake and start the car that way just by hitting the, um, the push to start. So I'm actually going to back up my seat for the purpose of this video. But that gives me a chance to show you guys the seat controls. I love this feature because if me and John, like either me or John are driving, we have our seats already programmed um, since obviously I sit a lot closer than he does. So mine is on the number one, his is number two, and I don't think we have anything set for three. So I'm just going to go to his so I can like back up a little bit. <laughs> You see up on the screen, it says memory to settings recalled. And if you ever wanted to change it, those controls are down here. They're down here. So there's like little knobs right here you can adjust. And then if you want it to save it, you would hit um, this. I guess it's like memory. That's the memory button. And it'll record for whatever number you're on. And then you just have the handle with the lock, unlock, lock button. Also, excuse my nails. They're really grown out. This here is the mirror controls, I believe. So I can choose which mirror I want to adjust. And then this will like turn them left or right or wherever I want to put them. Front windows, back windows, and I don't know what that is actually. Locking the windows, I think? So that, I don't know. I think it's a window lock. Maybe like if you're in the back seat, they can't unlock it. I don't know, or they can't roll them down. I am planning for this to hopefully be like probably my beginning mom car. I'll see if it lasts me that long. So this is just the dash and steering wheel area so nice i love the leather and what i really love i think all range rovers have this is this is like a leathery not leather it's like a fabric almost so this won't get any like sun damage like a regular plastic um dash it's really nice and it has like the detailed stitching and it just feels so luxurious which i'm obsessed with so here on your steering wheel you just have all of your controls you have this here where you can adjust obviously your volume and skipping like music tracks phone buttons so you can answer or decline or use this i never really use that i'll just like answer it on the screen um and then you have your little label here this is range rover super nice i love the feel of the steering wheel too it's really comfortable um i used to have like a steering wheel cover in my old car and I left it off, which I'm like glad because it's just, I don't know, easier and nicer looking. These are just more controls if you want to skip through anything or hit the OK button. Um, this is for cruise control, which I never use either. <laughs> Too much stop and go traffic. And then over here you have it, your light controls. So obviously you flip it forward, turns the lights on. This is where I was talking about. You could do like um, the front, I guess they're running lights. I don't really know. And then actually if you turn it back, you get brake ones, which I never turn on because it literally looks like I'm braking and I'm not. So if you do that, it's like a like your red lights in the back, but like 
second pair of lights. I don't know, it's weird. So I just do the front like running lights and obviously my regular headlights. And on the end, there's this little silver button that if you press, you'll control um, the screen up here. And that's just on because the car is not on. I think that's like your engine light, but it's like not really anything wrong. It's just because I haven't turned on the ignition. So this will go through like your um, trip speed and like uh, miles per gallon. I think I usually average like a 20, 23-ish, which isn't too bad. My car, my last car, I had a Kia Rio. It was just like crazy good on gas, so I would get like 30 miles to the gallon. Um, but 24, three-ish for a bigger car like this is not bad. Um, how much you have, like gas-wise, is all displayed here. And whatever like mode you're on, if I'm calling someone, their name will come up there. Or like I had my Bluetooth on for my phone music, so that's why this says that now. Don't know why this won't focus. The temperature, as you can see, it's 93 degrees and I'm like insane wearing long sleeve. I might have to take this off. On this side, you just have it, your um, wiper controls. So, you know, I honestly like feel like I haven't figured this out all the way. If you pull it down, I know it just does one, which I usually do. Um, there's actually rain -X on this windshield from the last owner and it like hasn't worn off at all. It works so well. Um, so I think you can do like wiper fluid if you go that way and then like switch the um, speed and stuff of your wipers. I don't remember what this does like if you press this button um yeah so actually these like pedals right here i absolutely hate and i wish they did not exist it's basically like if you want to mimic like stick shift i'm pretty sure so you can like change your drive oh i guess you put it in this i don't know what the s stands for i sound like such an idiot <laughs> but i've accidentally hit this before if i'm just in a regular drive and you like hit the plus or minus button it'll change your gear so you're like stalling because it's like thinking that you're changing like gear you get like extra drive modes or whatever you want to call it so it's kind of dangerous because one time i did it and i was like oh my god why is my car stopping so i had to just like put it in neutral and like switch it back really quick but beware that these are here because it's right where your hand goes and it's like i don't know sometimes i feel like i'll put my hand there so yeah that is the steering wheel and dash the side of the dash here we just have the middle console which is um the gear shift obviously whenever you turn the ignition on it will pop up and be like a knob that you can switch between park reverse neutral the prindle sweet life design cody <laughs> and then here i have like terrain settings i guess for like snow and uphill which i'm never going to use because i live in florida unless we take it traveling then that'll be helpful and then you just have like the air control i think this might be a little bit dated if anything that's obviously um like the technology and i just realized it was showing my <laughs> current location so i just covered that with my wallet so basically you have all these buttons here that says like home menu setup this is the parking assist you can turn the power off and then it gives you like screensaver and i think you can change that between like different pictures um and then you have your mode which changes between like usb bluetooth whatever audio video navigation and your phone so on here like i said this is probably the most like dated by having like an older car because i don't have like apple carplay or anything but i do have like navigation bluetooth that's like pretty much all i need so i'm not really mad about it so here if you go to like audio video my phone isn't in here so it's not showing anything but you can just go radio satellite um my music is where it does like bluetooth or you can change it to usb oh my gosh cd player i do have a cd player um yeah never gonna use that really my video i don't really like understand i don't know if you can like if you put in your usb somehow you can like do this but i don't really use usb you have your audio settings where you can do like bass treble oh my god my bass is so high i remember i said that like at the beginning <laughs> balance and oh no <gasps> i just hit the reset all button i don't know if that really worked no no oh now i'm gonna have to change that later but you can choose what's on that sidebar so this i can just like view my back camera at all times which is nice because my last car had a back camera but it was like broken the entire time i had it so i chose to put these here um I guess phone book's not popping up because my phone's not in here. I can't take me home wherever I'm at. It'll route me to my house. Extra features is fun because you get the ambient lighting. So I can pick whatever color. It's like a blue, white. What is that? Like a, There's like two blues and then white, pink, and red. Sometimes I do pink, but usually I have it on white. And that's just when the, um, when the car is on, I think. And when it's darker, this lights up here and in your cup holders and this is just the navigation i'm covering obviously my where i am on the map but you can put in your destination entry and change like the map and stuff and you can just watch this as you drive which i usually do there's like valet mode where you can kind of put like a password on your car so if someone's like driving it valeting then they can't get your stuff which like i don't really know why anyone would be like passwording their 
home screen, but whatever. The mode button will just change this without having to like go to that screen, so you can go through um, radio and stuff. And then these all are basically the buttons that are on here. And then if you use the phone, you can you can pick whatever phone you obviously have. I think this is John's, and then you can like go through and call people and stuff. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep that off for now. And then I kind of showed this. You just have the CD player, which is funny and your air conditioning which is like you can choose if it's going on your feet or in front of you um i can't figure out what this is i don't think it's your windshield because there's like that button but i don't know in the center is just the cup holders and this actually comes out and i never really close it but it is there and then glove compartment i just have some napkins from chipotle and some extra like usbs and cords i can like charge my phone in here so i just have a charging cord on the side it's all the same with like the speaker obviously um window roll down thing and then you have the glove compartment where i just keep my um like documents and stuff for the car and that's like i don't know if you can see it. i have my little tripod that i used to have on my windshield but i never put that up anymore because i don't really vlog on my phone now i'm gonna get out and show you guys the back and in the back, you just have, um, obviously handle, speakers, and then this is the back seat. It looks, like, kind of far back here because I moved the seat back, but we've had people ride back here and say that it is really roomy. I was kind of worried because, like, it seems small, but I've actually ridden back here once and it wasn't bad. So in here, you just have, um, the back, like, seat compartments that you can put things. Air conditioning. This comes down, and then you have the cup holders. And then the same thing on the other side when it comes to the door. And then above, you just have the amazing sunroof. I actually love riding in the back just to see the sunroof, but um, you can still see it from the front even when you're driving. So yes, so worth it. I did not want this car unless I got the one with the sunroof, so I love it. And I love that there's these little like miniature windows in the back too because it just brings in some more light. It makes it feel more open. So that is the back seat. Pretty self-explanatory. I forgot to show, obviously, in the front there's the mirrors, so... Just has mirror, it flips open, the light, and then this is one of those little Bath and Body Works smelly things. I actually don't like how that looks. It was from my last um, car, and I just put it in here. This is actually to close the sunroof. I don't think I can do it when the um, car's off, but basically you can like tap it, and it can go like little bits at a time, or you hold it down far once, and it'll close all the way, and it'll just come from the back and close all the way up here, and then the trunk. You can also open that with the key, but back here right now, I just have my beach mats. I pretty much always have these in the back of my car, whatever car I have, any trunk has my beach mats. And this is just my reusable bag. I think it's from Saks, yeah, um, that I'll use for groceries and stuff. And I try and keep everything at pretty minimal and not really cluttered. I honestly don't even like having those in there, but I mean, I obviously want it if I'm gonna go to the beach or you never know when you might need something you'll sit on outside. So I do like keeping those in there and then definitely have a lot of room back here. You can obviously put the seats down if you want more room than that. And then this just shuts with button here. And here's one last little overview. I actually wanted to pull my car up, so I'm gonna show you guys how this shuts. If you just press to like go like that, and I just tapped it once, and it's gonna close all the way. Just like that. Which is also nice if it's hot outside. Um, I actually forget to close it a lot, <laughs> but I park in a garage at work. And sometimes it's just if I leave it at home, I should definitely close it, but I don't. And then you can like tap it, like I said, like if you do like a short hit, it just goes like that. So I just long pressed and it's gonna open back up. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this car tour and seeing more of an in-depth look at my Range Rover. Um, I hope this was informative if you're either looking to get a Range Rover in this model. Um, I don't know if I explained in the tour part, but this is actually one of the smaller, I think it's the smallest model of the Range Rover. So you have like a regular Range Rover and the Sport and stuff. Uh, the Evoque is like known to be one of the smaller ones. So I absolutely love it. I love having like a smaller SUV. Um, and it's just perfect. So I hope this gave you some more information if you wanted to learn a little bit more about the details of this car. Or I hope you just enjoyed it if you're nosy and you like to see people's tours of things. I know I do. I love watching car tours and house tours and stuff. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.